Okay guys, so today we're going to be testing the NST that I picked up on the weekend. It's a Tunewell, 50 milliamps, 10 kV. Uh, I've got it hooked up to the uh, little spark gap I made at the moment and it's also got a Jacobs ladder connected to that. So uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, plug it in. Switch it on guys. Okay, I'll turn the variac on and crank that up to 100%. There you go, there's your arc side, it's travelling up. Probably don't quite make the top, some of them do every now and again, but uh, it's quite rare. As you can see, I've got a, um, a piece of uh, plastic up on top there, and that is to stop the electrodes from wobbling around like they usually do. They're only made of 3mm uh, welding wire, stainless steel, so that pretty much stops that problem. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, that's working pretty well, guys. It's uh, Getting up to about 75, some go up to 80, maybe 90% of the way up to the top of the Jacob's ladder, so that's pretty good. Running on 50 milliamps. See, there's a nice white arc traveling right up there. So, yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty happy with this uh, neon sign transform. I picked it up from uh, Tower Bridge on the, uh, the weekend, and uh, I got there and I had to um, measure it of course and I, uh, I measured it to a thousand volts on the primary and the secondary that passed out all right but um i got a problem trying to measure the uh the secondary resistance on the uh the multimeter i was using i was using a a a, 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 a q-tech multimeter and it just wouldn't pick up the secondary um winding resistance so uh what i did is i rang john and he had another one just like this in his uh in his uh, room there so he could measure the um the resistance of the secondary for me. This is like a, um, the way they work is they set the tap on the end, on the secondary and two HT on either side, HT negative, HT positive, and John was able to measure that across from me, it was about eight, 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 eight ohms across from the uh, negative to positive at about four, four, three and a bit, four on the end. Um, from the negative to the center tap and then the positive to the center tap about the same. So what I did is I used my uh, a fluke multimeter instead and that was able to test those um, the same resistance on here. This to tell me that the, uh, the neon sign transformer was uh, pretty pretty good condition, you know. It's always safe, especially if you're buying things like this off eBay to uh, know your stuff and actually test things before you buy them. So yeah, really happy with this one. Cost me uh, 50 quid, so pretty happy with that. So, yeah, for a, uh, a pound per milliamp, so pretty cool, guys. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's crank it up a little bit, guys. Let's take it to 110%. Let's see if we can get it right up to the top. Ooh. All right, let's take it up to 115 for a short amount of time. Ooh, it's wobbling around a bit too much, possibly, so they're not quite getting up there. So, we'll take that back down, guys. We'll Cranking down there, you go. All right, back down to zero. Switch them off. Unplug safety first, and uh, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Just a, a little quick test of the um, of the neon sign transformer I picked up. So pretty happy with that. It's the first time I've tested it today since I've been busy on other stuff really with John's variac and other bits and pieces really. So uh, yeah, yeah, pretty happy with that, guys. Uh, not really much else to say about that. Uh, I'll probably be, when I get hold of the other one from John, I'll probably be um, putting it up in um, together with the other one. So John's got a uh, another 10 kV, uh, 50 milliamps, uh, two well NST, exactly the same as that one. So I plan to hook those two up together and get, uh, hook those two up together to get a better output on that. So I can possibly use that for quite a large tesla coil that I'll probably be making sometime in the near future. But before I make that, and I plan on making a, a smaller version first with my uh, 35 ma uh, milliamp, 110, sorry, what was that about? Uh, 10 kV neon sign transformer, and I also have the black one that I painted up a while ago, so yeah, yeah, good, good to see how that's working anyway, guys. Well, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching that, and uh, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, hope you 